What is going on guys, Pound the Shop, and the moment a lot of you guys have been waiting for, our L31 budget build with our LT4 hot cam. This is by far the best bang for your buck engine I've ever built. Uh, the diamond results really surprised me how much power this thing made, uh, and we repped it to 6200 RPM all day long. We were dyno testing this thing, beating on it, trying different things. I'm going to give you the base results. Uh, and then a couple more videos, I'll give you what we end up getting out of it finally. Uh, but even the base results are quite good. You guys are going to be surprised, I think. So let's take a look at one more diamond pull, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of what's going on here. You budget builders are gonna love this. This is basically, this started off as a junkyard or a craziest Kijiji engine that I picked up. Uh, it was in good condition internally, externally not so much. It looks nice now. I cleaned it up. But basically stock bottom end, stock replacement pan, uh, just regular oil pump, stock crank, stock rods. I added ARP bolts when I resized them. Stock pistons, stock dish pistons. This thing is 9.3 to 1 compression ratio with the steel shim head gasket. Go back and check out the video, I'll put a link below on uh, why you need to add a steel shim head gasket to get the real 9.3 to 1 compression ratio on these Vortex. Already got a middle of the block. Um, Vortex heads with a little bit of porting. Check out, I'll put some links below on the porting edge of these heads. I'll get into more of the nitty gritty of the parts used coming up in the next video, but I'm just giving you the quick rundown with the die results. Beehive springs, no machining done to the heads. Uh, it's basically just a drop-in spring kit. LT4 hot cam, I'll put the part number up. Uh, got that for a smoking deal used. Uh, PRW rocker arms, competition products and dual plane intake. Very impressed with this intake. Performed really well for a dual plane low rise intake. This thing made peak power 59, 6,000 uh, 6, RPM. We revved it to 62 all day long. Uh, HA distributor with a melanized gear on it. We used, the fa uh, we used the water pump on this thing on the dyno, uh, factory balancer. Uh, this is basically an L31 stock bottom end with a cam, intake, carb, and some little bit of done work done to the, to the heads. That's basically all this is. This is next thing. Big shout out to Luke at uh, Luke's Auto Machine uh, in Niagara. He was super cool. This is the first engine I've dyno with him. Uh, me and him chatted back and forth for a while now, and this is the first time I've got to go up to his place and dyno some engines. If you're in the Niagara area, uh, southern Ontario, go check him out, give him a call if you need any work. He's just a one-man show, really good guy, super cool. We ran this thing all day long, uh, had a lot of fun, did a lot of testing. He's just on the same page as me, loves this kind of stuff. Um, and we just, we, uh, we, we beat the crap out of this thing. And he also gave me some dyno results. He does a lot of the like 604 crate engines, uh, so he gave me some, some results to compare to uh, for something similar that he just dynoed on the on his obviously same dyno. Um, when I brought this in, I, I wanted his opinion because I had an idea of how much power it make, and I asked him what like what do you think? Let me give you all the specs. Let me tell you what's what it's done. Uh, and he basically thought what I thought. Um, you know, 375 to maybe 385 horsepower in there, maybe 400 uh, four pounds of torque. Well, let's just say basically the first poll, we both, when we saw over 400 horse, we were both pretty surprised. So let's get into the down results. I joked to Luke when we uh, before we dynoed it that I would be so happy if this thing made 400 horsepower, and we both kind of laughed and thought it would be a stretch to try to get that. Well, to our surprise, the little 350 Vortec here cranked out 410 horsepower uh, basically right away. Uh, this wasn't the final results. I'm going to get to more of that and what we did with spacers coming up uh, in the next video, which is super interesting. You guys, make sure you check that out because we actually kind of discovered. Uh, a trick on these dual planes that worked really well. So, um, but to our surprise, this thing cranked out uh, 410 horsepower. 
between it depends, we did three runs. Every change we did, we did three runs to kind of equal it out. And, uh, so we made between 409 and 410 horsepower, upwards of 6,600 RPM, and 414 to 415 torque, uh, around 4,000, which was quite surprising. Honestly, I thought um, with this low rise intake uh, in this camshaft, I thought that the, the horsepower just wouldn't, wouldn't be up there, wouldn't grab out that far. Uh, but it, it did really well. This was ran with a 750 Holly carburetor, 32 degrees total timing. And the beauty of this little combination with this camshaft, 112 lobe, uh, lobe separation angle, fairly wide, uh, it idles with like 15 inches of vacuum. Uh, without the vacuum advance hooked up, we could easily get 15 inches plus if you were to uh, tune with the vacuum advance. So Luke was nice enough to give me uh, some dyno sheets from a recent um, 604-350 crate engine, which is a GM circle track crate engine. This one has been tricked out a little bit. Uh, it's got the stock um, cam, which they have to use, which is slightly less than the, the LT4 cam, but this, this engine has aluminum bow tie heads with bigger valves. This engine has more compression, a single plane intake, uh, of 850 carburetor, uh, so it's it kind of it kind of teeter totter. It has basically it has it, everything's better except it has slightly less camshaft. Same LSA, just a little bit less lift. It's a 474 510 lift, a 208 at 50 221 in the exhaust. So very similar uh, uh, camshaft to the LT4, but everything else is better. So let's compare the dyno results um, from that engine to our budget L31. Look how well our little budget L31 held its own against the 604 crate motor. Um, the crate motor made 417.9 torque at 4100 and it made peak power at 5900 of 406. So very close. Uh, surprisingly, the, the lack of intake and compression and heads, obviously the camshaft made up for that. And also uh, the porting on the exhaust on our Vortex probably helped. But uh, considering that engine has better heads, more compression, and a dual plane intake, or sorry, a single plane intake, our little uh, budget engine did really well. Here's the part that's gonna blow your mind, is that 604 crate motor, not really a great bang for your buck, as that crate motor is $8,900 US. Luke was telling me that it'll cost you about 12,500 Canadian, that engine right there. And we put this little 604 copy, not really, but our L31 budget engine together for a lot, a lot, a lot less than that, obviously, especially with the deal I got on camshaft. Um, so comment below if you have any questions. Let me know what you think of the results. Are you guys surprised how much power this thing made? Uh, did you think it was going to be more, maybe? I know some guys, you know, have crazy ideas sometimes, but uh, I'm, sur I'm surprised. Luke at the Diamond was surprised. Uh, and uh, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, wait till you guys see some of the other testing we did. We uh, end up doing some spacer testing. We end up actually running this thing on 020 synthetic oil. I thought that'd be a cool test. Luke's never done that. Um, let me know, do you, think, do you guys think that made a difference in power? Um, and let me know if there's any information in here that I forgot to mention, because I am doing a video about the parts breakdown a little more. So let me know, comment below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. It helps me out. I love uh, doing these budget engines for you guys on YouTube. You guys keep asking the questions. I will do my best to build some small block Chevys, Vortec heads, whatever you want. Whatever, whatever kind of fun we can get into. Thanks, guys.